Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Make the Cut with Erica and Dawn. We have a special guest today with us all the way from Barcelona, Spain, via Detroit, Mr. Frankie Biggs. Give it up. Woo! Hello, hello. Nice to be here. He's Thank so you for smooth having me. with it, right, Erica? He's like, hey. he is. Just <laughs> smooth. Just yes. smooth. Must be nice to be all the way in Barcelona. Yes. I'm really... I, I, I'm not as cool as I am in, inside. Inside, I'm panicking all the way. So, <laughs> oh, just to well, let you welcome know. Welcome to the show. Thank so you. So, tell Thank the audience who is Frankie Biggs. Who? Well, let's see. Uh, so, I'm a record producer, and um, uh, I don't know. I've produced quite a bit. I've I've worked with um, some pretty, you know, nice artists in my in my time remixes for a lot of different people with Christina Aguilera, uh, Britney Spears. I won a Grammy in 2007. Thank you for uh, Oscar de Leon, which is the tropical record that I did. I was invited to help in the production via uh, Rodolfo Castillo down in Miami for my uh, universal music. And then um, I've been nominated. And then let's see, I don't know. I mean, work on a lot of stuff i'm a composer i do a lot of music and i'm moving transitioning now into movies and and uh, soundtracks so awesome well yeah. welcome to the show and thank you so much for coming thank you for having me this is a pleasure to be here yeah. thank you so today's guest on make the cut is a young man named gustavo andres and he is from i know <laughs> you probably say it better erica say his name Oh, no, no. I can't say it. Mr. Frankie Biggs. Gustavo has it. Andres. Ooh, yes. That's what I'm talking Gustavo about. Say Andres. it again. <laughs> Gustavo Andres. <laughs> so silly. And he's a young man. He's actually from Newark, New Jersey. Um, and he's an aspiring young artist. And um, we're going to critique his work today. So we brought the big dogs, Mr. Frankie Biggs, to take a look at the, and see what, how he is. But before we do, Erica always goes up with a scorecard. Do you have the scorecard in front of you? I don't have this one okay. because remember, once again, Miss mm -hmm. Dorn Branch and I know how to stay in our lane. We so the we do the dance. Yes. But I think Mr. Frankie Biggs does have yes. the actual scorecard. So yes. if you can just go through the scorecard and just let the audience know what is expected of the singing as well as how that point score is that would be awesome yeah don't give it away yet what you gave just yeah. how we're gonna judge it just how we're judging it don't give away your score yet you want me to read that yes, yes sir so they'll Ooh, know what we're looking okay. for. let me let me get in front of me here okay while you're doing that i'm gonna prep the screen for gustavo angeles <laughs> you're so silly eric <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what I could do before then? Commercial break. Commercial okay. break. Okay. Commercial okay. break. Let's do it. This commercial. So, are you looking for a fun summer intensive? Oh, look at that. Peaches Dance Studio, Music Ooh. Studio in um, Windermere. We're having a summer intensive. If you're interested, we're having jazz, ballet, Martin, and of course, ballet. Uh, please call 407-217-5088. As you see, I'm one of the teachers. So if you have nothing to do over the summer or you just want to learn Martin and please and ballet and jazz and all the rest, please come through. Thank you. So that was my little commercial. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Hey, Peaches. <laughs> all right. Did we find it yet? I did. I did. Okay. So... The first category uh, would be artist expression, and that's song delivery, understanding, and, and interpretation of the material, and then the confident the listening audience. Um, second, in, in that, uh, the range and tonation, projection, and pace control. Uh, which translates to body language, facial expression. Are you guys still there? Yeah, yeah, we're still here. We can Are hear you. Guys, you. Get, okay. 
uh, body language, facial expression, energy level, movement, stillness, gestures. And then the next is mental focus. And under that is concentration and confidence. And then the last section, overall execution, believability, um, commitment, and appearance. And that would be dressing and grooming. Thank so you. we are now yes. on the bottom there's a person who actually created the form could you give a shout out to her I forgot. and that's uh, nicole powell nicole powell nicole yeah. powell nice, nice job nicole yeah <laughs> she did good right she did yeah, a great job absolutely. nicole powell okay guys so let's take a look at gustavo andres so let's see share lord okay here we go hit play can you see that yep all right here we go Oh my gosh, that was wonderful. Very good. Wonderful. Very good. Oh, you're up, Mr. Frankie. What'd you think? Whew. Okay, so overall, I mean, I, I I'm scoring this guy high, you know. Um, and here's here's so I'll go through each section and my score. Artist expression, song delivery, understanding, interpretation of material. Uh I give I give homeboy 15 points on that one um, out of 20, which is, which is pretty good uh, confidence. I, I'm going to give the dude 20 points because I don't see that there's a lack of confidence in anything that he's doing. You know what I mean? So, and, and we'll, we'll go over, I'm, I'm going to summarize all that too. I really want to explain that vocal presentation range and tonation. He's got a really good voice. It's it's, there's nothing there that's, I'm not, he's, I'm not saying he's not, he doesn't have a special voice. He's got a voice that's very marketable and sounds like other voices that are out there. You know what I mean? So, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's not negative. I'm saying he's, he's definitely on that, on that path. He's on that road. Um, I believe it could have been maybe, you know, there could have been a little more vocal production there. 
you know, but maybe it's not that necessary because that type of that type of music, if I'm not mistaken, that's Colombian music, uh, doesn't really call for a lot of vocal acrobatics. So in that way, he fits in that lane. You know what I mean? And it's real. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say basic because that comes off negative, but I'm saying typical, very typical in that in that vein uh, of music. Um, so projection and pace control. Yeah, I mean, pace control, the kid, you know, he's Latino. He knows what he's singing. You <laughs> know what I mean? He, he feels that. So there's no there's no problem on that. Um, projection, same thing. It, 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 the, the, the songs were very well produced. So he's sounding like he's he's uh, he knows what he's doing. He's got micro mi microphone technique and probably use something like this, like a Neumann U87 to get all that richness of his voice. Um, Nonverbal presentation is the next thing. Uh, body language, facial expression, energy level, movement, stillness, gestures. So I'm giving homie 10 points. And here's why there's a deficit of the five points, which is that as good as he is, um, his movements are the only thing that's lacking. I think that he needs cons consultation on that. He needs a Dom branch to go in there and, and show him how to be less rigid and more fluid. And, and so what, what ends up happening is like in his videos, uh, and this is not taken any way away from how they shot it or edited. Everything's perfect on that. It's just the performance of him. He looks very forced. You know what I'm saying? So it just looks like he could he could have a little more coaching in his movements because he doesn't look like a dancer. He looks like a person that maybe mildly dances when he needs to, but he's not out there like he's not the, the center of attention. So taking that and putting that in the center of attention looks a bit forced. And mm -hmm. so that's that's why I give him that. So just a little more work on the movement. I think he'd be good um mental focus concentration and confidence i mean 15 points because again we're watching videos we're not watching live performances so there really is no room for errors you know what i mean they're not gonna they're gonna edit the error stuff out of it so the way it looks pretty pretty perfect you know what i mean um maybe a live performance i could better give that a better judgment there um and then the last overall execution the believability commitment and appearance well he's a good looking kid and he's dressed nicely so i give that whatever the highest points are 10 points and believability of course i believe him you know what i mean he's 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 a he's a latin artist he's a new latin artist that's out there doing it the right way so yeah i believe it 100 percent. you know what i mean so yeah i think that the kid is he's, he's in the right lane um but overall, the way I look at it like this, uh, great stuff, great video, good production. It, it seems mixed and mastered from what I'm from what I'm hearing. It, it's mixed and mastered correctly. Um, and I don't hear any wrong notes, but I feel like, OK, he's got it right. But he needs a hit song. Hmm. That, that's what's needed. He needs hit. He needs a hit song, meaning because when I listen to this production, it sounds very typical Miami, uh, South America, you know what I mean? And that, that stuff resonates big time here in Spain because there's we have a huge South American um, presence here. And so that would work, but it isn't a banger. It isn't like a, 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 a hit hit song that you would you would hear in the clubs here or anything like that. I'm not to say that, that they don't play it. It's, it should be played in the clubs. Cause I think it's good enough to be played in that, that kind of a set with that type of music. It fits right in, in there, but it doesn't have that Mark Anthony, you know what I mean? Like, cause you could play a bunch of songs like this, but the moment that you play a Mark Anthony song or the moment you play a David Bisbal song or a uh, 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 Louis Fonzi or, or any one of these cats like that, like, you know, that's the, them. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they command that sound, they command that production. It comes in. And so I think artists like that, they end up in, in, a, in a set. When you play a set like that, you can tell who's that. He needs that kind of production. He needs that kind of hit production that's going to set his sound and, and, and stamp, give that stamp of approval. 
and I don't think he's found that yet. So that's my only critique to it. He could. That's awesome. That's for awesome. <laughs> Thank wow. you. That was perfect. So what's the overall score, Erica? Just go over the scores for Make the Cut. Well, it looks like from what I added up, he got a 90. I have a 100. So it he, mean, Erica? it means that he has, he, he made the he cut. Made the cut. He made the cut. He made the cut. Oh, yeah, he makes that cut. He made so the cut. 85 and above. And he so, got 90. So he, he got a 90. He got a 90. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, not fact, yeah. And listen, look at his numbers too. You know what I'm saying? Those, those numbers don't lie. I'm not the only person that sees that. He's got right. quite a, quite a bit of numbers there. So yeah. nothing. I mean, it's, it's like I said, I, I think that he's, he's definitely ready. He just needs, right. you're right. He needs a team. He, he needs, needs the team. right team. I think to, he needs to a team. do it. And I think it's so interesting because I know like just to give like the audience um, perspective, because they could be like, what does that mean? He needs a team. Right. So like, think about like how when Janet Jackson first came out and I'm a huge Janet Jackson fan, but when she first came out, she wasn't really a good mover. She was Michael Jackson's sister. She had the voice and she had some really good songs, mm -hmm. but she, like you said, she didn't have that hit. And I think it's very interesting. She didn't have that hit until what it was with. You got with Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam and Terry, right? And so once those producers came together, then all of a sudden yeah. they were able to put a team around mm -hmm. her. And once she had that complete team, mm -hmm. then she was really able to use that trajectory, right? And so sometimes you know it's long? not just enough to have talent, right? So he has the talent. But now with this show is really, we're trying to help him get to that next level. And that next level, he's made the cut, is really introducing him now to our professionals, which once again is why we do have people like Mr. Frankie Biggs here with us. So um, yeah, so give us some words of advice about how we can put either his team together or like even you, like say right now, like, you're, you're, you sound like you're seeing something in this kiddo, right? Well, yeah, so, I'm holding back quite a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm holding okay. back. Uh, uh, what I'm holding back is um, an exact interpretation of what I'm seeing. But the reason I hold it back, because it's, it might be a little rough for some, some people getting into the business. Understood. But what, I, what I say is this. Um, I'm going to keep it as honest as possible. What does it mean to put a team together? Mm -hmm. uh, first, he has to have the financial backing to make that happen, obviously. Um, he's got to have somebody that's going to choreograph him, period. Let's, like they did with Janet. I mean, you made a great point with Janet and hooking up with, with Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam, because I don't know if you know this, but it's a little bit of trivia, but do you know how long it took before, even when she signed with them and they started working with her, how long it took before she sang one note with them? Mm -mm. One year. I was going to say it. Wow. <laughs> one year. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's because, but tell them year. why it took, tell them their process. Tell them. But because they needed to I know build about yeah, they needed to build the team around her and she was she was, you know, they, they needed to kind of like approach her with 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 kids gloves is how they did it because she's Michael Jackson's kid sister. You right. Know? So they can't just come in like normal producers and start saying shouting out demands. This is what you got to do. Right. You know, we got to develop you. They and she was going through some things. There's some okay. personal things that just came out about her when she was younger. Right. And so she was going through that stuff and they recognized it and they realized that the only way that they were going to do the, a proper record on her and, and, and literally make lightning strike the right way was to take their time in developing her and getting to know her and putting the right team with her. Correct. And, and just slowly massaging this into, and finally, after six months time, she's, she started taking off and started right. working. And when they finally got her into that work mode where she was ready, then they did it. Then they Look said, okay, that. now, now you've had this whole year. What do you want to say? Who are you? And she's like, well, let me tell you who I am. Nice. I'm nasty. 
There you go. You know there I mean? you go. And, and that was I'm, it. I'm, and now I'm in that, control. That's right. Absolutely. I'm in control. And and that was that was the calling card of that whole thing. So how it relates to this cat is that it's 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 going to be hard because now these record labels don't, they don't do what they used to do. You know, mm. they don't just go out and sign you. And then that means they give you money and, you know, everything is on them. It's not like that anymore. They don't do that. And even when they did do that, it's not, doesn't mean that's what you wanted to do because they may throw some money at you and you might start taking some trips and appearing, doing this and all this stuff, but whatever money is being spent on you, you got to pay it back to them. So really record labels just become a really bad bank, a real bad loan. You know what I mean? Because if you don't pay it back and you're not selling, you're not doing as good as, as you're going to do, they're going to dump you and they're going to make it impossible for the next record label to want to touch you because you owe them money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if another record label comes in and you start to do well, a record label is not going to like to have to pay the the tab of another label and their failure. So it's it's one of these things where if you put this team together, you have to have the right financial backup because you have to hire the right people and no one's going to work for free, obviously. Correct. But if you've got the right team and, and you you can make these these advances and everybody works together with it. Yeah, he needs it. He needs a, probably sounds like he's already got a producer. But mm -hmm. what he needs is the right song right. and he needs a a dawn in his life he needs he needs a person that's going to be able to well i mean you did that with irene and it worked it was it was legit and it's just development so overall that's what he needs he needs everything he needs people to come in and say you need to wear this we need you know there's yeah. a lot of meetings that need to happen around this one person you know so that everybody sees the same thing and that he's able to to execute what people put together for him because only through that do I believe it could be successful? So you have to look successful if you're going to be successful. And if right. you look like you're green going into the business, you're, you're not, you're not going to be taken seriously. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. It's your show, man. You just tell me, thing. shut up. <laughs> the big question. Are yeah. you Frankie big? I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but you are in a position to mentor. Is this yeah. someone that you are willing to just have a conversation with? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, 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 absolutely. Say it again. Say the whole sentence, just in case. No, I am absolutely interested in having a conversation with this, this fella and his, whoever manages him yes. and answer some questions for them. I would love to do that. That's awesome. On the show, Erica. That's so that's it's so awesome. I think it's awesome. And it's gonna be nice to see, like say, we can say, oh wow, we knew him when, mm -hmm. right? We right. featured him on the show. Yeah. It looked like what it seemed like with that video, the date was March 25th, 2021. So this is something he just like at least released to the public, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah, so man. it'll be interesting to even see like what happened a year from now. Yeah. Right. And because please, anything can happen. We're going to follow up with you with absolutely and possibly if there's something that bonds we can bring them back on the show together that'll be awesome oh so yeah their stages of development and where they are right um also with frankie biggs though we have river red casting agency so they're part of they're affiliated with our program and michael watts the celebrity photographer so awesome. thank you to all our sponsors for that and we will be in touch with Gustavo Andres after this and Mr. Frankie Biggs, any final words that you have for any young artist coming into the business? Young artists. I shouldn't Here's say what I, any artist. I, but it's a new artist. Let's say okay, that. Right, new artist. Okay. I'm going to give you some advice that, that I wish somebody would have gave me a long time ago. And I think you, you young ladies will definitely agree with me when I say this. Eventually, you'll want to buy your own home. Mm -hmm. That is something that everybody aspires to do, is to buy their own home, okay? And you'll hear that once you buy your own home, that the best investment that you could make ever is in your own home. And that is the absolute truth. And now I'm going to tell you, it is the same truth with being an artist. The absolute best investment that you could make as an artist in your home, 
in your heart because that's where music lives is going to be in your artistry in your craft and do not get cheap none of this is 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 cheap if it's cheap just remember that you get what you pay for if you're going to be a big star and that's what you want to do and that is just the dream then then you have to live and walk and eat and sleep the dream and doing that means you have to be financially ready to take on that that part of it and just remember that you don't work for free and neither does anybody else so you can't expect for people to do that now why do i harp on that because there's this misconception and that needs to be broken about that and i and i tell people listen if if you were working at mcdonald's let's say it's an honest job and you're working you're busting your butt there at mcdonald's and you're trying to make ends meet and they come to you and say man you do so well you are so good you're the employee of the month man we're so good that we don't want to pay you anymore would you would you do that no of course you wouldn't do that but that's kind of what a lot of these artists ask for when they go when they approach professionals mm -hmm. You know, they want these professionals to work for free. And it's kind of like, that's what you're asking for these people to do for you. And so don't give into that misconception. There's, there's the best investment you can make is into your career. You just need the right consultation. You need to spend your money the right way so that you're getting something for it and not just putting out a bunch of money for nothing to a bunch of people who are just scamming you. That's the problem with this music industry is there's a lot of scams that are going on and you just have to be, you have to, I don't know. I, I, I there's no substitute for information. And I believe if you're going to be in this business, then the best thing you can do is start at the very beginning and tell me when the first radio station went public, what was the first hit song? Who were the people behind it? That's where you need to start because if you're going to be in this business, you better know this business. You can't just get into it and let everybody else figure it out around you because what they'll figure out is how to screw you. Mm -hmm. So that's what I give these artists. The best investment that you can make is inside yourself. Make that, make that investment the way that you would make it in a brand new home. Absolutely. Because you know what? When you make that investment, it becomes more, more valuable yeah. and it shows. Excellent advice. That's awesome. Thank you for that. I think that's so incredible because I think so many, especially the new artists and even some of the older artists, right? I think there are so many artists out there that, yes, we do it for the love and the passion, but show business, music business. At the end of the day, it's a business. Mm -hmm. And I think so many times artists, right? We get so caught up in the art, the art, the art. And then you're right, we do get screwed with the business, that money, how to get paid, you know, your royalties, you know, and stuff like that, like different things, especially that, you know, music artists need to know, like, okay, how are we really gonna make this money, make a life out of this, right? The business aspect of it. So thank you for really reminding all artists that at the end of the day, this is a business and time, right? Sometimes people just wanna be a star of a night. And like you just said with Janet, that it took a year, mm -hmm just for her to get her team together. So just that investment of time as well, and not just be like a one hit wonder, right? You need a, And you so, need a good team that believes in you too. It's, right. it's good to an have- An honest a, team. You need an honest- Yeah, <laughs> yeah and a really, really good, a team that's not that's not afraid to tell you the you truth. Suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. But that's why we have this show, so we can put them in touch with the right people. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely you know, play with them and take their money. Yeah. So final words, Erica, what you got? Oh, I have my piece. What yeah. you going to say, Miss Branch? My you, final you, words. You got your move. You got your moves ready for Mr. Um, Angeles. I'm so excited to see my <laughs> brother. I haven't seen you in so long. He has a wonderful wife who's a singer. Her favorite Ooh. artist is Mariah Carey. And she's okay. gonna be on the show another time. We're going to bring Awesome. She'll be on she's, she, she loves you, man. Oh, who doesn't love Dawn Branch though? Dawn is Come awesome. On. Who doesn't? Too much. Thank you. She's guys. done. She's done a lot more than singing. I don't know if you've kept up with her a little bit and what she's been up to. I'm gonna save that for 15 minutes of fame. I'm gonna bring yeah, on. Yeah, I think you should. Me. That's that's big. If anybody wants to contact you, Frankie, if you want to do mentorships, if you want to do lectures, what is your contact information? Uh, Facebook is my is my number one thing so 
And then in, I guess in order it goes Facebook and Instagram, but everything is Frankie Biggs. Uh, just Frankie, F-R-A-N-K-I-E and Biggs, B-I-G-G-Z. Got so, it. or else you're going to find something else. Um, <laughs> Out. Yeah, in um, a whole other industry that I'm not in. So, uh, uh -oh. that's funny. I didn't know that. Thanks for clearing that. Well, up. The, the last name is very ambiguous to a lot of things. So, oh, okay. Well, okay. PG show. So, thank you, sir, once again for coming <laughs> all the way from Spain, Barcelona, and the house. Thank you for having me. Make the cut, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, guys. Congratulations.